you want to become an unstoppable video editor, you are required to learn the most important editing tricks in Premiere Pro. This can be overwhelming because that's a lot of information. It's just too much. You want your videos to look best for your viewers. So luckily I can show you eight must know editing tricks that will blow your mind. Starting with trick number one, unnesting a nested sequence. So after selecting multiple clips, you can right click them and nest them into a nested sequence. The only way to undo this is by pressing Ctrl plus Z. In most cases, this is impossible because you gotta go back so many steps. You can of course double click the nest and go inside. Then copy everything, go back to the main sequence and then paste it. But that's just too much work. Instead of doing this, just remove the nested sequence. Then on top in the timeline, disable insert and overwrite. Now when you drag the nested sequence back in the timeline, it will import the insides of that nest. Number 2. The Lumetri Follow Playhead Bug Every time you open up Lumetri and make an adjustment, Premiere will enable Selection Follows Playhead. This one can really interfere with your workflow and if you can't fix it, this can be quite annoying. Now to fix it, go to the Edit menu on top and find Keyboard Shortcut. Cuts. In the search bar, type in follow, then click the empty space next to selection follows play at. Set a shortcut to toggle this feature on or off and then click on ok. Now every time Premiere does this, you can just hit that shortcut to switch it off instead of going to settings every time. I know, it's still a bug and they really need to fix it. Number 3 is new and updated. It will make your footage playback way faster. We all know and understand proxies, they're nothing new. They will replace your video with a proxy version in another codec. That way Premiere will play back smoothly and you can edit without lag. Now this process just got better. To create a proxy, right click your clip in the project window and choose create proxies. Now this window got some refreshments. It's now easier to lower the proxy frame size. I usually set this to half, that works perfectly. Number 4 is a true life changer. Using mainstream music in your videos, for example James Young. Using music like this in your content will make your audience fall in love with your videos in seconds. Now there's no need to be afraid of copyright issues. Licked, the sponsor of today's video, can hook you up with a wide range of over a million mainstream tracks and over 100,000 stock tracks. And that while being protected from copyright strikes and demonetization. You can use music from Coldplay, Nicki Minaj, Nickelback, Bruno Mars and so much more. Because of Licked's huge catalog, us content creators and filmmakers can find a special tailored piece of music that we need. When your audience recognizes mainstream music, they will feel familiar with you. They will feel like they're at home. This will keep them engaged and it will increase increase your video retention. And of course, the YouTube algorithm will reward you for this by pushing your video to a much wider audience. And that means more views. Using mainstream content will enhance your videos so much, so guys, I don't want you to miss out on this. Now, by signing up using the link down below, you will receive an incredible discount, including 14 days of free stock music and a massive 50% off your first mainstream track. If you're curious about Licked and how we can change your content creation, click the link down below and redeem your discount. And now, let's boost your editing skills with trick number 5. Ever since the new Premiere update, you can now type and edit emojis if you're on a Mac. You can use the little touch bar, which I find really useful. However, if you don't have a touch bar, you need to go to edit and then on the bottom you'll find emojis. This is really cool because you don't need to find PNGs of emojis anymore. Number 6. Using motion graphics. For example, this text animation. First, go to the window menu on top and find essential graphics. In here, you can browse the Premiere preset or install your own motion graphics. Let's use this text animation for example. Simply drag it into the timeline and there you go. Now you can adjust the text in the essential graphics panel to your liking. Most mogurts will allow you to adjust the font, size, position and so much more. This will save you so much time because you don't need to create these animations yourself. However, if you want me to make a video on motion graphic templates, let me know. Number 7. Changing the colors of labels in Premiere. You know when you right click a clip in Premiere, you can change the label color to whatever you like. Now the colors in this menu can be changed as well. To do that, go to the edit menu on top and find preferences. Then click on labels. In this window, you can adjust the names of every color. For example, light pink. Why not add a black and white color label? Then of course, you can also adjust the colors of every label individually. That way you can make your edits look like this. Whatever you prefer. Number 8. To learn Premiere extremely fast, it's important to experiment with all the tools. There's no better way than practicing these fast and easy VFX in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.